just listening to me by television. I want you to hear me and hear me well. There comes a time when God gets in with his whip. Because it's too much now. That was not the only day they were exchanging money. They had been doing that for a long time. He just looked at them. He just winked at it for a while. Hoping they were going to stop. But they didn't stop. Now they were bribing their members with lies and prophetic lies. And trying to sound prophetic when they are lying in the name of God. God is coming on the sea now. He's coming with his own whip. And watch my words today. Watch this prophetic word today. When God decides to step in. Don't even worry about changing these people. God knows how to put a stop to this mess. I call you young people wherever you are. Preach the gospel for the bigger picture. Preach the gospel to change nations. To change a generation. To bring justice in Zambia. To bring holiness in Zambia. To bring the fear of God in Zambia. That's why we carry this power. Though you slay me. Yet will I bless you. For I'm not in this thing for the money I can make. Because all oh, I don't know about Kitwe anymore because I haven't been here for a long time. But in Lusaka, when I see people bury people, they use coffins. I don't know what you're using in Kitwe. But in Lusaka, we use coffins. The problem with the coffin is that once they put you in there, there's not enough space for anything else. Oh, God. It's, it's, it's not even your wife if she loved you would squeeze herself in that coffin she would not fit it's you alone you may be blessed to go with your best suit but that's it the other suits at home the Mercedes will not fit in there the hammer will not fit in there Nothing else besides your body will fit in there. So if I were you, I would make up my mind to live for what really matters. For life comes like a season. And once that season is over, it's your time to go. I want to live for God. I may not have what you've got, but I'm happy to be alive. To announce the power of God. <laughs> Young people, wherever you hear me, do not think God doesn't know what you do. He's got a whip. Just as they were exchanging money in the temple, he showed up. They thought it was the same thing of him asking for a good deal. But their time was up. The Bible says he whipped them. Scattered abroad from the temple. God is at work. This nation. This country. Is not like any other. This country. Is not like any other. This country. Has been called by God. Preachers. Let other preachers in other countries play these games. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. If you don't have a word from God, shut up. You think I didn't want to tell people about the Christian who was raised from the dead so that my name is big? Of course I was tempted to be talking about her all the time. But why didn't I talk about it? Because it's nothing to change this nation unless they bring it themselves. Because they watch you. But I've come to Zambia to let you know this is a prophetic word. Let's leave the nonsense and get the real power and use it to change our world in Jesus' name.